an important aspect of any app that you may use or any program you use is how it saves the document that you are creating or manipulating. So I now have the two-page PDF that I created and I want to begin to do some things to modify this. So maybe I want to add an actual box so that the students see where I want them to identify. So I'm going to change my line on this. Um, I'm going to change the color of the outline so they can see it a little better, make it gray. Um, so okay, here's where I'm going to have them drop in their information and change it. You'll notice at the top it tells me this has been edited. So I that's all I've done is add this one box. And remember, if you don't want the shadow box, which you'll see it's shadow there, make sure you have your box highlighted, go to your line options, and uncheck the bottom line, which is the shadow line. So I have this, it says it's edited, and I'm simply going to go to my X and close that document. You will see, just by looking here before I even open it, that it saved automatically what changes I had. So when you are working with an original PDF that you have not made a copy of, it will automatically save any modifications that you add or change on the PDF. Another thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to delete page two, and I am not going to click save. Again, I'm simply going to go to the X. I'm going to open up document two again, and I only have one page. If you do that, remember that you can always restore. You can always go to your restore option, but it is a good idea when you go up and do file to make a duplicate before you begin to modify in case you need the original. It will actually also give you the option of saving. So um, if I do another uh, modification, let's say that I add um, some text and it says, please be specific because I forgot to add that to my original, but I already have this document I've made, so I want to add that here in this box. And I can go up, click Save, it saves it, and I can continue working. The reason that that's important to think about is you still want to save regularly, just like you traditionally would, but if you forget to save and you close out, it will automatically save for you. So it is a good feature, but just remember, if you're making modifications, and you close, it's still going to hold the modifications. So that's one thing um, in relation to saving. If you want to rename it, you can simply rename by clicking rename right here. Um, if you want to move, you go to move to, and you can add this to really anywhere that you would like. So when you do this, you can add it to your Google Drive if you would like. If you have iCloud Drive enabled, you can add it there desktop, anywhere you want to send it. If you don't see the folder here, just simply click Other, and it will open up your entire options within your Mac to make that move. The other thing you can do is export. So you can export. Now when you export this, you'll notice you get a little bit more in the options than you did when you move it. The one key thing right here that I want to show you is as a PDF, you can export this also as an image. So if I change this to a JPEG, that will export my PDF as an image. So if you have a PDF and you're trying to manipulate or the students are and you need it in a photo, you can actually export it as a photo. So I will export this as a JPEG. I will call it document two. I'll keep the quality where it is and I'm going to keep it in preview materials. Now I'll click save. The reason I wanna show you that is because when I go to my finder, you will see that I have a JPEG copy of this PDF, but my PDF still exists. So it doesn't erase or remove your PDF. You still have your PDF, but you also now have an image copy of that PDF. The other thing that you can do is export it as a PDF. And you may think, well, I have a PDF. Why would I export it as a PDF? Well, um, you can add a few different things here. You can um, have some tags if you want to add tags to it that's that's an option that you have you can also see the details and in this you can change the size you can also encrypt so if you need someone to receive this and it's in it's a private document or a document with some sensitive material you can actually by doing the um, export option as PDF you can encrypt your document if you simply go up and do 
file save or move to it does not give you the option to do the encryption a lot of people may not need the encryption but if you do it's there and it will protect your PDF so whenever we receive our pay stubs uh, via email that's an encrypted PDF that we receive from payroll and that's the same idea as that you can also again revert to um, so if you need to revert to any uh, previous versions of this you can so that is how you do your saving and your sharing within a PDF document in preview